Alright, so for some reason, this video is getting a lot of attention right now. And there have been a few comments that are like this that think that the images that I chose are AI generated, or they're from Jurassic Park, or some in that range, which they're not. We're going to go through them all. Because you guys, for some reason, think that they're AI generated. I'll even show you the the, the the credit, the artist on who did it. Except for one, I had trouble with one, but I think it's, I think I got it. Let's go through. Okay, so we have this monstrosity. This is not AI generated. This is not CGI. This is obviously not from Jurassic Park. Do you know, do you know who did this? Oh, you don't. Sorry. Yeah, that's the whole point of this video. Okay, let me... Brian Yu. Brian Yu. He painted this. He, d he did this. He does a lot of art when it comes to, to paleontology. Now, this thing down here, th th this, this, that's AI-generated. Not AI-generated. Not AI-generated. None of these are CGI. None of them are from Jurassic Park. Brian Yu. Okay, let's move on to the next. All right, we have this specimen right here. We have a dromaeosaur eating another dromaeosaur. Very spooky, very scary. That was the point of the video that I made to kind of promote paleo art that can be scary, first off. Secondly, that feathered dinosaurs can be scary as well. Jurassic World and Jurassic Park. But who did this? Who painted this? Because this is a digital painting. This is not AI. This is not CGI. This is not AI generated. So let's find... Oh! It's a real artist on Twitter. Again. That, that, that if you can see it, that's the name right there. Because it got chopped off up there. I don't know why. But hey, look at look look when it popped up. Look at that. It, it's not AI generated. It's 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 an artist's work. Move on to the next one. Oh, we got a spooky T-Rex. Oh, it's so scary. This must be AI generated, right? This must be from Jurassic Park. This it, it's it's not. It, it's an artist. Let me show you the artist. Da, 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 the Meat Lord. I follow them on Instagram. It, it, they're very good. They're very, very good. Th that's a Satakosaurus. They made that logo. They painted this picture. Let's move on to the next one. Ooh, a spooky Ceratosaurus. Now, this one is CGI as far as I can tell. It may have CGI elements used and then painted over, but the artist, let me move over a little bit, is right there. That's the artist, and that is in the photo that I used, this photo, I used this picture in my video, and the name was right there the whole time. Now, if you guys can't see that, there you go. If I use the effect, it chops off the uh, the name and everything, so this is easier. Julio Becerra. I think I said that right. I can't speak Spanish. I can barely roll my R's. There we go. I can roll my R's there. Becerra. I believe that's how you say that name. But yeah, there it is. That's the artist. Very prolific paleo artist. Anyway, next one. All right, we got ourselves a Sukumimus. And again, because artists are very good at doing this, that is the artist's name right there. It was there the whole time. I don't know how you didn't see that. No CGI, no AI generation, not from Jurassic Park. This is paleo art from a paleo artist. You can't see that? Okay, I'll show you. There you go. Right down there. See? My second post on Twitter, Sukumimus at Night, it is their art. They did this. Now, the reason why it says Jurassic Park up there, it's called a hashtag. It gets people to uh, 
to get clicks, to, to get, you know, people checking that out. Ah, my favorite dinosaur of all time, Cryolophosaurus. I'm just gonna get right into it. This is not anything. Like, this is, this is a painting. Here we go! There it is, right here. Same, same guy, it's up there. He does a paleo stream all the time. This is when it was posted it's on Twitter. Like, it's it's not that hard. Like, a few of these were a little difficult to find. I have Google Lens, so I just highlight it, and it is like, hey, here's something that looks similar. And guess what? That is, that's the thing. It's so easy. It's it's easy. Next. So I didn't have the singular picture because I just didn't do it. And for some reason, this was able to uh, to get the artist right there. There it is. Second half of my commission for Jurassic Quest. Yeah, these aren't dinosaurs. But that is, that's a T-Rex. That's a Tarbosaurus. That's some kind of, oh yeah, there you go. Stan the T-Rex, it's right up there. <laughs> so like, come on, like it's, it's not AI generated. It's not CGI, it's not from Jurassic Park. It's definitely not from Jurassic Park, like come on. You think that looks like the Jurassic Park T-Rex? I don't think so. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Now this is the one I had trouble with. So this is CGI, but it's still paleo art. It's not from Jurassic Park, but that's who did it. War Paint Cobra for iStock. That th this was the one that was in the rain. If you remember, it's the T-Rex that was in the rain. It's the same model, but it's just in a different pose. So yeah, that was the one I had the most trouble with. Everything else was the easiest thing I could ever do. So let's move on to the next one, shall we? Okay, well, here's that other artist, Ryan Yu, again, up there. You can kind of see it. Um, yeah, he made this puppet. He has a YouTube channel where you get to see him make the puppet. Like, it's... I don't understand how people... Look, his Patreon's right up there! You can probably see it there, too! Like, it's... It's it's art! It's not CG... It's, it's a puppet! It's a real... You could touch this in real life. Brian Yu. He's a very good paleo artist. Okay, moving on to the next. Okay, here is the final one. The Tyrannosaurus Rex eating something. Again, for the last time, does it look like CGI? No. Does it look like it's from Jurassic Park? Absolutely not. Does it look AI generated? No. You, you, you dunderheads. Because... It's by freaking Mark Witten! One of the most famous paleo artists of all time! At least our time. Like, he's still doing great work! He worked on Prehistoric Planet! Come on! Like, he's amazing! He does such a good- And you're gonna say that his stuff is AI generated? You're gonna say it's- It's Jurassic Park CGI? Guys, Google is your friend. Now I used Google Lens when I had my TikTok open because I was like, oh crap, I don't have those photos anymore. Let me see if I can find them again. You just scroll up, put it in a window, at least on my Google Pixel, you put it in a window and then it'll say lens with a little square on it. You click that and it highlights the picture. You tap on the picture and it does a little sparkle thing and then boom, there's the picture at the bottom of the screen. Is this what you meant? That's what Google says. And I go, yes, that's exactly what I meant. And I click on it. A lot of the times it was to Pinterest. And I'm like, okay, let me do a little extra work. Let me go find the artist. Let me go ask on uh, on Reddit. I found that T-Rex, that CGI T-Rex. I found that on Reddit. And I was like, okay, who did this? Mm, but yeah, it's, it's simple, guys. It's not... I don't do AI stuff. I do the real deal shit. 